So today's the day we've been waiting for pinch pot creatures. So basically this is a pinch pot, okay? It's just a pinch pot. Kindergarten does these. You guys are gonna do pinch pot creatures. So there's a couple of ways to do it. This is a pinch pot creature. This part right here is the pinch pot. And then all this was added onto it. This is also a pinch pot creature. Things were added onto this too. Here's another, lost his, one of his ears, but this is also a pinch pot creature. All this was added onto the pinch pot. Now they don't have to be mouths. This is a pinch pot creature and you don't see the pinch pot because it's underneath. So this is also a pinch pot creature. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your clay Cut some of it off, just squeeze some of it off with your hand, and that's what you're gonna save to use later. Now the rest of this you wanna kind of put into a ball. So if yours isn't in a good square, you can pound it a little bit to get it into a square. Now, the more you play with this, the more it's gonna dry out. The more it dries out, the more it cracks. The more it cracks, the uglier it looks. And remember, a crack does not get fixed when it goes in the kiln to be fired. It just becomes a crack. So once you get it, and then you're gonna put it into kind of a ball. Now remember, I'm gonna be doing this a little on the quick side because I want you to be able to get to work. So once you get a basic ball shape, you're gonna stick your thumb into it. And then you're gonna work around the edges. So just keep working around it. Keep it in your hand, keep working. And this is the beginning of your pinch pot. Now make sure you push all the way to the bottom because you don't want this part to be really thick in here and these walls really thin. If your walls get too thin, they're gonna just crack. So once you get your basic shape, now you have to decide whether your pinch pot's going this way and it's gonna be a mouth or whether it's gonna go this way. I'm gonna do it as if it was a mouth today. So I'm gonna keep working this and I'm gonna to try to get it even. And you wanna smooth the back a little bit, okay? Now, there's all kinds of things you can add onto your pinch pot creature. What is yours gonna be? So, let's see. If I wanna add some eyes, there's a couple ways you could add eyes. One, you could take some clay and you could flatten it down. And then you could cut an eye out of it. Say you had some cookie cutters. You could cut an eye out of it. And that could be your eye to add on, which is what I did here. This was a cookie cutter. Now I'm gonna show you how to do these. With those, what I did was I took a little ball of clay. So you wanna get two balls the same size if you're putting two eyes on, or three if you're making three eyes. So you make the ball the same size. Then you can squish it down if you want, and that gives you a nice circle. Now, if you've got cracks, smoosh them around. Now, how do I add this onto this, Mrs. Gasher? I can't just stick it on there. What am I gonna use? Well, you could use what's called slip, which is basically just dry glue that's been mixed with water. If you're at home, you don't have any of that. If you're here, you could use that or water. So let's say you wanted to add this crazy eye right on, let's see, we're gonna put it right here. So I would put some lines and then on the back of this, I would put some lines because the rough spots will stick together. The smooth spots won't. I take a little bit of water and then I'm gonna push it on there. Now, this is the important part. You have to make sure it's sticking on here well because when it dries, it will fall off. So sometimes we could even take a little bit of mushy clay on the back and kind of smoosh it in there to help fill up the crevices and keep it on there. You want to make sure it stays on there. So maybe I'm just going to make a one-eyed creature. Yeah, I think maybe I'll make a one-eyed creature. So now maybe I'll take a little ball and I'm gonna add that onto there. 
So once again, I'm going to put a little X and I'm going to put a little X and I'm going to smoosh it on there. So you score, which is what the X's are. You use slip or a little bit of water and then you smoosh it on there. So there we go. So there is my one crazy eye. Now maybe I want to add a tongue to this one. So I'm going to kind of make a snake and then I'm going to squish him down a little bit, smooth him out because I don't want cracks in his tongue. Let's see. I'll cut it off here. Maybe I'll make a nice line down the center of his tongue and I'm going to put his tongue here. So once again, I'm going to put some score some lines. If you have slip, put a little slip on or some water and then I'm going to smoosh it down. Now I'm going to really smoosh it down at the back of his throat. And there's his tongue. I could even go like this. And if I wanted, this could be my creature. Now I could keep adding things onto this if I want. Now, all these bumps back here, you need to smooth these out. You don't want this looking really yucky. Now, what if I wanted to put some texture on him? You also wanna make sure he sits the way you want him to sit. I could use this. Watch this, this is just a marker top. I could go like this and I could make it look kind of like fish, like he has gills on it. You could also use this if you wanted to stick an eye on it. If you push this down all the way hard, see how it kind of makes an eye? There's all kinds of things you could make designs with. You could even use Legos and you can make the Legos on there. So you could use different things to make some texture on your pinch pot creature. And you can add different things to it. Now, one thing that's really, 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 really important. You have to put your name on here. Because otherwise I'm not going to be able to get it back to you. Okay? So, like, I'm going to put S. Gasher. Now, make sure you don't come out the side. Keep it on the bottom. Because if it comes out the side and is on here, it's going to look pretty bad. So if you can only put your initials, that's okay. We'll figure it out. Okay? So let's get going on our pinch pot creatures. Now we're going to use two classes to do this. So when we're done, we have to somehow keep this and keep it dry. So I sent home bags. If you had your clay at home, you have a bag. If you get your clay here, I will give you a plastic bag. You're going to take a paper towel. You're going to get it wet. You're going to squeeze the water out of the paper towel so it's just damp. It's not dripping. It's just damp. You're going to lay it over it and stick it in the bag. You're not going to wrap it up really tight like if it's a little blankie. You're just going to lay it over, put it in the bag, and make sure you Ziploc the bag. And then this way, we can work on it one more time before they have to be let out to dry because if you leave it out like this it's going to dry and you're not going to be able to work on it anymore okay i'm looking forward to seeing what your creature looks like is your creature going to have a mouth like this is your creature going to go under here and sit like this here's this one here's my fish i added the tails the fins another thing you could do you could pull some things out too if you wanted to. You could pull pieces out. Actually, I kind of like that for this guy. I'm thinking he's going to get two of these pulled out. Remember, don't make them too skinny. Oops, see that one's breaking off. I got to really smoosh that back on there. But you could have two things pulled out if you want. You can make some designs on it. And remember, whatever marks that are on this, whatever imperfections, they will be there when it's dry. You cannot cover up your imperfections, okay? You have to smooth them out. Good luck.